morning, everyone. It's so good to see everybody out there. Sherry here with my Easter joke. Um, before I start that, I just want to say how grateful I am to be able to hang out here with you in my jammies and my Easter bonnet. I bought this at uh, the one of the last garage sales. Maybe somebody out there recognizes it. Anyway, and I also did the favor, did you a favor by uh, putting on a bra for the occasion. So all dressed up just for you guys. Anyway, my joke today is uh, is about um, um, giving gifts, choosing a gift for your elderly mother. There's three boys and they all get together and they talk about the gift that they bought their, their older mother. And the first one says, well, I bought mom a, or built mom a brand new house. And the second one says, well, I bought her a new Mercedes and it's got her own personal driver. And the third one says, well, I got you both beat. Um, this is the best gift ever. You remember mom liked to read the Bible every day. Well, her eyesight's getting back. So I bought her this parrot and it can recite all of the Bible verses right through the whole entire Bible. It took a bunch of elders, like 12 years to teach this parrot how to, how to recite all the Bible verses. All mom has to do is, is just name the chapter and the verse and that parrot will recite it. Well, mom got around to uh, uh, sending out some thank you cards and she says, David, to the first son, she says, the house is, it's good, but I'm only living in one room. And now I'm having to clean all these other 15 rooms in the house. And then she wrote to the second son, his name John. John, I'm getting too old to be out and traveling. And with this COVID-19, nobody's going anywhere. I sh I'm, I'm distancing myself from, from that driver. So it's not even getting used. And then she writes to the third son. Dearest Jeffrey, you know exactly what a mother likes. That chicken was delicious. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed my story today. I wish everybody a happy, happy Easter. God bless. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? I know a guy if you need an arc. Ah! <laughs> Can't handle the cheese. <laughs> okay. Hey, Victoria, what animal could Noah just not trust? I don't know. What animal could he, he trust? The cheetah. Ah. Uh... An OPP officer was sitting at the side of the road and he was using his radar to try and uh, catch speeders when he looked down the road and he saw a car approaching very slowly and the radar registered 24 kilometers an hour and he's thinking to himself well i know i'm supposed to catch speeders but but driving really slowly can be very dangerous as well so we pulled the driver over and when, as he walked to the car, he noticed that there were five older ladies, two in the front seat and three in the back. And the, the ladies beside the driver all looked like they white as ghosts and wide-eyed and, and, and fairly frightened. And the driver said to the, to the OPP officer, Officer, I, I don't understand. I was doing exactly the speed limit. What seems to be the problem? He said, well, uh, Ma'am, you weren't speeding, but you should know that driving slower than the speed limit can also be a danger to other drivers. Slower than the speed limit, she said. No, sir, I was doing exactly the speed limit, 24 kilometers an hour, she said very proudly, actually. And the OPP officer said, well, <laughs> that 24 on the sign was the route number. You're on Highway 24. It's not the speed limit. I said, oh, officer, I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I won't do that again. Uh, but, and the OPP officer said, well, before I let you go, ma'am, I have to ask, is everybody else in the car okay? These women seem 
a bit shaken, and they haven't muttered a single word this whole time. She said, oh, they'll be all right, officer, in a minute. We just came off the 403. Hi, I'm Evan. I hope you all are doing well. We wish you the best wishes from the Ralph family. This morning, I have a couple of jokes for you to lift up your spirit. What do you call a dinosaur that's asleep? A dino-snore. What has ears it cannot hear? An ear of corn. What did the left e eye say to the right eye? Something smells between us. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Brothers Billy and Johnny were hanging out, and Billy says to Johnny, I think we should learn how to start cursing. Let's try tomorrow on Mom. So the next morning at breakfast, Mom says, Billy, what would you like for breakfast? And Billy says, I think I'll have some bleep, bleep, bleep Cheerios. Mom, shocked, chases Billy up the stairs and slams the door to his room with him in it, goes downstairs and says to Johnny, now, Johnny, what would you like for breakfast? And Johnny says, well, it sure is bleep bleep bank Cheerios. Be safe. Take care, everybody. Bye. A man sent his friend a cryptic Christmas card. It said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The recipient puzzled over this for weeks and finally gave up and wrote for an explanation. In July, he received a postcard. No L. A minister decided to do something a little different one Sunday morning. He said, today in church, I'm going to say a single word and you're going to help me to preach. Uh, whatever single word I say, I want you to sing whatever hymn that comes to your mind. The pastor shouted cross. Immediately the congregation started singing the old rugged cross. The pastor shouted grace and the congregation sang uh, amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The pastor said power and the congregation sang there is power in the blood. The pastor said sex. The congregation felt total silence. Everyone was in shock. They all nervously began to look around uh, each other, afraid to say anything. Then all of a sudden, way in the back of the church, a little 87-year-old grandmother stood up and began to sing Precious Memories. How do we know that Peter was a rich fisherman? I don't know. How do we know? By his net income. Oh, no! And you are good. Knock, knock. Who is there? Heaven. Heaven who? Heaven seen you in ages. Oh, you're seeing me right now. <laughs> Sorry, that was cheesy. <laughs> Too much improv. Ah!